The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report that in 2011, more than 3,300 people were killed in accidents involving a distracted driver, and a local college wants to help lower those statistics. NCTV 17's Whitney Goodbread has more. When North Central College students went for lunch on May 21st, they came across a fatal two-car collision right in front of the dining hall. This crash, thankfully, wasn't real, but it was meant to catch the students' attention. The demonstration, put on by Residence Life, included student actors to illustrate the dangers of texting and driving. When North Central students are seeing their classmates in an accident and seeing them act that out, whether they're laying on the ground um, with whatever injuries they might have, that it, it impacts them and they can see exactly what can happen um, when you're distracted when driving. Naperville police and fire responded to the scene using the jaws of life to save the victims, allowing them to also benefit by improving their skills. This keeps their skill level uh, high. It's a good practice, it's something practical, um, where as opposed to a real scene, it gives us time to, to slow down, take our time, do things right, and, and practice. Junior Amanda Bartak played the distracted driver and learned how things can change in an instant when you text and drive. Going class to class in your car as a commuter, just kind of being aware that like you're not on your phone and it can happen in a couple seconds. It's, it's kind of scary how fast an accident happens. Residence Life hopes to revive the event on a biannual basis to continue to educate new students on the dangers okay. of driving distracted. Reporting from North Central College, Whitney Goodbread, Naperville News 17. Many high schools use a mock crash for drunk driving education, but North Central officials said this was the first in the area to cover distracted driving.